There's a new gaming laptop manufacturer in Malaysia called Thunder Robot and they have brought in a range of gaming laptops with decent specs and design language that follows some of the top players already in Malaysia. So that aside, we are going to take a look at the Thunder Robot ST Plus, one of the more affordable gaming laptops that come with mid-range hardware and at the same time offers customizable aesthetics to the user. So with that, let's get on with the review. Straight off the bat, the ST Plus comes with minimal yet appealing design which takes some inspiration from the ASUS ROG and Alienware laptops. But the laptop chassis is made fully of plastic which makes it feel cheap. On the lid, you will find the Thunder Robot logo with streaks on the side which is illuminated with LED lights when the laptop is powered up. On the sides, there are ample amount of ports for all your needs. To the right, there is a USB 3.0 port, USB 2.0 port and audio jacks for headphone and microphone. On the left, we have a USB 3.0 port, Ethernet port, USB-C and three display out options, one being a HDMI 2.0 port and two mini display 1.4 ports, allowing you to connect the ST Plus up to four monitors if you consider USB-C port. Something that is hard to find even on other gaming laptops in its price range. Flipping the lid open, you'll be greeted with a full HD 60Hz IPS panel. The display has great color reproduction which you should expect from an IPS monitor and makes for added immersion when playing games, especially if the game has a lot of explosions. The keyboard is not to my liking due to the fact that the keycaps are small and does not give a very nice typing experience, especially for those of you that have big fingers. However, the travel distance is nice, offering some saving grace from the small keycaps and it comes with a 3 section backlighting. Finally, the touchpad is very impressive as it offers great tracking and is very enjoyable to use thanks to Thunderbolt going with a Synaptics driver. It also comes with a dedicated left and right click buttons which in my opinion is a great choice as some laptops that uses the touchpad as a mouse button is not as accurate as using dedicated buttons. As I mentioned before, the ST Plus comes with decent mid-range specs. It comes with a KB Lake Core i7 processor and NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And best of all, it supports up to 32GB of DDR4 RAM at 2400MHz. The ST Plus hits 60 frames on Overwatch and an average of 40 frames for The Evil Within 2 and 55 frames for Destiny 2 in high graphics settings. However, when it comes to The Witcher 3, frames are slightly inconsistent as he has an average frame of 45 frames when out in the wild and 38 to 40 frames when in town. Dropping the graphics to medium will produce 58 frames out in the wild and a decent 48 to 50 frames while in town, which is still very decent when you take into account that it's equipped with a GTX 1050 Ti. While playing games, the laptop does not feel hot, which is probably thanks to the two vents positioned at the back and the right of the laptop. The fan spins fast and it does get noisy when under full load. There is thankfully no performance throttle during gameplay. Thunder Robot has equipped the ST Plus with a very fast SSD. We decided to test the speeds of the SSD using Crystal Disk Mark and found that it has very impressive read speeds of 558MB per second and write speeds of 344MB per second. Good on Thunder Robot to include a quality SSD. When it comes to sound, that's where the laptop falls short as the speakers are just too soft. Even setting the game and computer volume to the max, the audio volume just does not feel satisfying enough. The sound quality on the other hand is just mediocre. Bass sounds flat and vocals feels like they're coming from a tunnel. Even when tweaking the audio using the Sound Blaster software that the company has included, it still does not help the quality or volume of the speakers. I would recommend that you invest into a good gaming headphones if you decide to pick up the ST+. Thunder Robot has included two of their own softwares, the first being the control center which will put the computer into different modes like quiet, performance, power saving and entertainment depending on your needs. I did not see any significant difference when setting the options to quiet and entertainment but on performance the cooling fan spins as soon as a game is launched. And in power saving mode, the laptop will dim the screen and turn on airplane mode. Other than that, there is also a customizable menu which will allow you to set when the fans will stop spinning, start spinning and spin at maximum by adjusting the temperature gauges for each state. 
The second software is Flexi Key, which will allow you to set macros by recording your keystrokes and executing them by pressing the FN key and a particular key that you have set. They have also included a statistics tab, which when recording will give you a heat map of the keys you have pressed during the recording. Lastly is the lighting tab, which will give you control of the keyboard's backlighting by allowing you to change the keyboard's lighting for each of the three sections or the entire keyboard at once. There is also a brightness level setting which I wish they implemented on the keyboard rather than in the software. Unlike other gaming laptops that I have tried, the battery life on the ST Plus is very decent. Take into account it's using an i7 chip with a GTX 1050 Ti, the battery will last you around 3.5 hours to 4 hours of regular usage like watching videos and browsing the internet. When gaming, it has managed to push itself up to 2 hours of use depending on the intensity of the game played. Games like Witcher 3 could only last 1.5 hours but Hearthstone has managed to go slightly above the 2 hour mark. So guys, there you have it. That is the review of the Thunder Robot ST+. Plus. Now, if you are looking for a mid-range gaming laptop and you want to go with another brand aside from what is already available out there, then I can definitely recommend the ST+, Plus to you. Currently, this laptop is retailing for 4,999 ringgits and if you are interested in picking yourself one, you can go ahead and visit Thunder Robot's official Lazada and Shopee page and purchase the laptop there. And with that guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, do give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and as always, I will see you in the next video.